So rule number one, do not bring it into your bedroom. Do not sleep with it. And if, don't wear it when you're running or exercising. Do not have it face the toilet. I know it sounds crazy, but it does not like dirt, period. Hi, my lovelies. Hey, today I wanna to talk about the Pixiu. So P-I-X-I-U. So Pixiu, Pishu. There's different ways of um, basically naming it. Um, but you know what? You name it the way that you want it. There's no right or wrong, I'm sure. Um, and so I did talk about this bracelet that I purchased on Amazon about, I wanna say two weeks ago in one of my recent video. And I wanted to make a video dedicated to the Pishu um, Fan Shuing, Feng Shui. Okay, so the Pishu Feng Shui bracelet which I purchased not too long ago and I made a quick, quick review about it, but I didn't really go in depth about how it has brought me so much luck. And I was thinking about you guys and how this can bring you luck in times of hardship because it is said that it will bring wealth, health, and it would actually help you to level out your inner energy just to keep calm through the storms and so um and it has it has helped enormously now i've put it to the test a few times because i wanted to see hey if i don't do it this way is it gonna work and if i don't wear it the right way is it gonna work and it works you guys now again if you believe in something hard enough it will happen now um whether this works or not i think it'll be up to you if you're skeptical and you're negative and you go into this thinking this is not going to work then it might not work for you but if you go into this and you think to yourself i have nothing to lose let me try it i am dying to see if this is going to work out uh, and if it does work hey what do you have to lose health wealth hey why not and if you do order it on Amazon, there's always an exchange policy or return policy, so you're not losing anything. And price-wise, it is awesome. It is a good price point. Uh, it actually comes in a beautiful, beautiful box, which I'll probably post a picture right here. Uh, you open it, and it's very luxurious looking. Now, I'm not crazy. I think I've said that in my past video. I am not crazy about the gold color. I don't wear gold as you can see i'm always silver actually this coincidentally is gold but um i rarely wear <laughs> and this is gold <laughs> i'm wearing all gold oh and my casing is gold okay well anyways <laughs> i don't normally wear gold i actually wore this for this video i found it recently so i was really excited i had lost it which is a, a, a coin from spain um for the pirates i don't know if you could see it Pirates uh, used to use this currency for a while, so they used to hand make their own coin. And anyways, long story short, I found it, I wore it, I found this. Um, I've been dating, you know, I'm single, so I have been dating and meeting people, so I kind of like to jewelry up. And um, so coincidentally, everything is gold today, <laughs> but I normally don't. Oh, there you go, here's the silver. See, I do wear silver. <laughs> oh, by the way, this is so cute, you guys. I got this in Pandora. And it's got a little passport. Look how cute right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's got a little passport with a plane on it. And it says passport. How cute is that? This is not what we're talking about. We are talking about Pishu. And all of the good things that it's brought me. And all of the good things that it could bring you. So let me start by talking to you guys about what the meaning of the dragon. Okay, so let me show you the bracelet. All right, I'm going to show you mine. Um, here you go. So it's got like the black beads and then you got the two gold ones on each side of the dragon. So I don't know if you could see here. I'm going to try to show you the dragon. Maybe if I do that, it'll help. Um, so anyways, this is the dragon. This is the body, the tail, um, kind of like the ears and the mouth is in the front. So the mouth is open and then you have the two legs, the four legs, the front and the back. And then the black obsidian keeps going around with some markings. Um, okay, so I've got many of them and I wanted to show you guys the difference. Um, this is one that has a black bead and then you have the gold, the black, the gold. Mine is con continuously black. And then as you can see, the dragon is remarkably larger than mine. As you can see here, my uh, dragon is tiny compared to this one, which is a lot bigger. Now those work the same, just they come from different companies. So companies, some of them will invest in a little more expensive and charge a little more money uh, and others won't. Now you have the two-sided dragon, dragon facing each other, okay? There is a stringy, uh, flexible string inside, which is easy to kind of like stretch with your the size of your wrist. 
and they are both facing each other. So there is no good way or bad way of wearing it. And they're both facing this little world here, this little circle thing here. And as you can see, this isn't, um, it's not skipping, you know, like a black and a gold. It's just continuous. Okay, there's that style. Now you have the same style, but this one has a color changing one. So depending on your mood, um, it'll go from green to gray to black. So it's got different changing lines and that are facing each other. Um, and then you can have these, but in the black and gold, black and gold skipping uh, colors. So there are so many on the market. You just have to go with the one that you feel more attracted to and the ones that you feel that will work for you. Again, these are very tiny dragons. Um, things, these seem to be about the same size as mine. Um, and again, this one is super big. Okay, so let's get started with the meaning behind it and um, what it means to own one. So there's rules in wearing this bracelet. You can't just be wearing it and go take a shower or wear it anywhere you want. There is a constant, there's a lot of rules with these bracelets. It's almost like taking care of a new baby. And at the beginning, you know, at the beginning, I just wasn't taking it seriously. And whenever I would take it seriously, good things would happen. Whenever I would neglect the bracelet, things wouldn't happen. So I kind of understood that you have to respect it. And uh, getting into this, you can't just throw it around and just pretend that, hey, this is not gonna happen. Um, it's not gonna work or it's not working if you're not willing to put in the effort to take care of it. So um, so they, it, it is said that Pisu has, Pisu has the power to protect the master from calamity and dangers. Okay, so it is some sort of protection. Um, whether you believe it or not, again, it's up to you. Um, I do feel a certain vibration when I do wear it. I don't know if it's psychological because I know that I have it or because it is working. But um, like I said, I believe everything has a vibration, whether it's your hair or it's an item or it's something in your house. Every item in your life has some sort of vibration and life to it. And so again, if you believe in it, you can make whatever it is that's positive happen. Uh, all right, so let me start telling you guys about this bracelet. So. Rule number one, do not sleep with your bracelet, okay? So do not bring it with you in the bedroom and do not wear it. So rule number one, do not leave it in your bedroom, okay? So a lot of people just go to bed and put it on their nightstand. You do not wanna do that because the minute that you're laying down and your peace shoe is above you, it will give you bad energy, you'll have nightmares, you won't be sleeping right. Um, it is just not recommended to sleep next to peace shoe always put it in the living room. So leave it out of your bedroom, leaving it in the living room facing the front door because it will protect the house throughout the evening and um, it'll do its job while you're sleeping. So it is protecting. I know it sounds crazy, but I've tried it. I've put the piece shoe and I never knew about that rule before when I got this. And I remember telling everyone, I'm not, I haven't been sleeping. Well, I don't know what's going on. I have nightmares, like um, I have sweats. I wake up in the middle of the night, what's going on? I looked into it and sure enough, peace you. I had no idea. Okay, well now I know. <laughs> so rule number one, do not bring it into your bedroom. Do not sleep with it. And if you're gonna leave it, cause they say if you, if you have a little area in your bedroom that you can enclose, okay, and, and name it its own little area, it's okay. So if you have like a table that's to the side, far away, um, that kind of faces a wall or has a wall behind it and you can put your pea shoe there, it, it's considered okay. Um, but I'd rather don't take any chance. I don't wanna give it its own little world, so to speak. I just wanna bring it in the living room and leave it there facing the front door. Um, so it, it does its protection. All right, second. So the pea shoe does not like dirt. Okay, so meaning if you are running, don't run with pea shoe because you'll be sweating. Um, don't go take a shower because you were dirty prior to that and it does not like to touch dirt with the soap and everything that's going on in the shower. So do not take a shower with pea shoe. Don't wear it when you're running or exercising. Do not have it face the toilet. I know it sounds crazy, but it does not like dirt, period. So make sure that when you know you're about to do the dishes or you're about to get your hands dirty because you're doing some creations, take it off, you guys. Just take it off and put it back in its box uh, during that time so that you are basically protecting it and you're not putting it, because it doesn't like dirt. So do not position the pea shoe above your head because it symbolizes 
bullying and it will bully you throughout the night and this is why you have a hard time going to bed and um your nightmares will start just because it just sends out bad vibration so really important you know don't keep it in your room and never put it above your head whether you're laying down or sleeping or let's say i'm laying down on this carpet and i have it above my sofa it's going to be bullying you and it's going to bring some bad energy so never have it above your head all right besides having the pea shoot facing the front door it is always good to have it facing the window it likes to protect so make sure that it is always facing either exits you know either the window or the front door so with that said um you know you want that constant protection and it's doing what it needs to do you are its master and um that's something else i'll tell you about how to remind it that it needs to serve you uh, but in the meantime you're busy you're doing something take it off put it by the window not only does it sub you know it, it'll absorb all of the positive energy and the light and the sun rays and it purifies itself but it also is protecting you so it's doing what it needs to do it also said not to stuff paper notes you know how people want to stuff paper notes in its mouth because some pea shoes come really large with a big mouth so a lot of people may think that their tradition will work by just you know stuffing paper saying oh this is what i want this is what i want maybe it'll come true you are not to touch the front and the back of the tissue so not the mouth and not the exit obviously um you can touch the surrounding of the tissue but you can't touch the front and the back of it uh if you accidentally do so it's okay there's a way to purify it and i'll tell you about that uh, but don't stuff it. Obviously, we can't stuff this one. But in case you think that at night when it's protecting, you can put a little note and it'll come true. You can't do that. What it likes, it's gold. Um, I think, I believe it's gold and silver. Uh, gold and silver, correct. So this is why it's full of gold because that's what it likes. And so you cannot stuff it with anything other than gold. Now, I want you to avoid placing it in front of a mirror um, it does not like its reflection and it's actually, um, it symbolizes, uh, chasing away. So if you're putting it in front of a mirror, it'll think that, Hey, you know what? I am not liking the chase and it, it would start giving you some bad energy. So always put it away from a mirror, never facing a mirror. So just remember that when you guys, let's say are taking a shower and you just kind of want to place it in front of a mirror, avoid all mirrors, please. Okay. So your beast is seeking wealth. And by seeking wealth, I mean it's using its eyes and the back of its body. So try to avoid touching the front and the back because it's seeking it for you. So you're stopping the flow by touching it in the front. So if you do have a bigger pea shoe or even have your own pea shoe, just avoid touching the front and the back. It's really important because it stops the flow of energy um, that it needs to keep grabbing that wealth for you and bringing it in. So it's really important that you remember that as well. So do not touch the eyes and do not touch the mouth very very important because it uses both um, in order to attract wealth and the minute that you try interfering with that by touching it it'll stop bringing wealth to you uh, and to your family so it's really really important that you avoid touching both uh, frontal features so there is a saying that the chinese say and i wanted to mention that um, their saying is touch pichu once for good luck and good luck will come twice money will roll in and three times uh, a promotion all the way up <laughs> they say promotion all the way up it's probably a translation um so meaning when you start touching it um first time you will get good luck second time your luck i mean money will roll and third time promotion so i'm guessing something higher than the first and the second so um that's why they keep on telling you to touch it now the reason why they want you to touch it is because they want pishu to familiar familiarize himself uh, with you the owner and so by just wearing it it knows who you are but not quite because you are its master but you have to remind him and her or him Pichu I guess is a boy right um so every day I just kind of touch it okay remember I'm not intentionally just touching the mouth and the eyes so you just kind of touch it and you let it know hey I'm your master and today serve me you know protect me bring me wealth bring me uh health and you just kind of remind it and that's it that's all you need to do and again let's say you're in a, a cab or you're shopping just touch it hey i'm your owner <laughs> i'm your master and please do as i say thank you and just serve me that's all you have to do really so throughout the day just remind pishu who is, is the owner 
And the more you wear it, the more it gets accustomed to you and the more it starts delivering good luck. Um, the less you wear it, the more it detaches itself from you and you have to start from the, the get-go. You have to start from the beginning to just getting him or her adapted to you, to your needs. So remember that, just keep touching it throughout the day and remind him that you are its master. I'm telling you guys, this is not just a normal bracelet. It has a lot of rules that you have to remember. So you may make mistakes at the beginning and forget. You could always refer to this video for like, oh yeah, a refresher, because <laughs> it's got a lot of instructions. It's not just a simple bracelet. So I wanna start by explaining what Pishu, why the dragon? Okay, so I'm gonna read this, you guys, because I can't memorize it. Um, it is a celestial animal, okay, named Pishu in Chinese. It is a mythical god beast in Chinese mythology. Uh, it is embodied with a dragon head. Okay, so I will show you the picture. Embodied with a dragon head. And I'm sure you've seen these symbols in a lot of the Chinese restaurants and Chinese um, stores. Um, with a horse body. Okay, I don't know if you guys are seeing it well. With a horse body and a quillin feet, similar to a lion. Besides that, it has a beard under its chin and wings at both sides with flying abilities. You'll see wings on both sides here. I don't know if you guys are seeing it clearly. Um, it is believed that it has the cap capability um, to draw wealth from all direction and it doesn't have any anus at all. As you can see, it's got a hole, but it is not an anus. Uh, which signifies that it only allows money to roll in and prevent them from flowing out, which makes sense because it wants to keep it with you. So Pishu is well known for attracting wealth, luck, and good fortune to home and businesses. So now that you understand it, when you wear it, you can wear it proudly because you know you understand where it comes from, why it looks the way it looks, and why they design it th this way. Okay, now the reason why they use this black bead looking thing now this is called an, an obsidian okay so i hope i'm saying this right obsidian so obsidian is known to be kind of like a residue of, of a volcanic um lava and i believe that they made it into this stone which is believed uh, to be uh to to help with protection and so um, obsidian is known for ultimately protection and shield against negativity. So it is known um, strongly to have a protection uh, quality. So it is really important that when you wear it, not only does it protect you, but it brings you wealth and health. And so really important that they have both in them as well. Um, it is known as a very powerful and creative stone it increases self-control and forces facing up to one's true self. This releases imbalances and negative energy. So I've noticed um, just prior to owner, owning the bracelet, I was all over the place. It was really hard for me to kind of focus. I was going through a lot, you know, with my divorce and my children and work. And so I noticed the minute I got it, I was just more relaxed. Like I, I was able to think things through, although I'm channeling the same not channeling, but I was feeling the same things from all over, you know? I mean, these problems don't go away if you're going through like a divorce and stuff. Yeah, they will end, but eventually, eventually, not now. But I noticed that it gave me some kind of calmness, which I didn't have before. So it, it enabled me to just kind of like, kind of channel my energy in a more positive way and also in a more calming way. So it has helped a lot. I, I've seen the difference even with my children or at work or, so it, it's, it's, it's worked for me, definitely. Okay, so now let's get to the rules on the do's and the don'ts. So they say, if you look online, to wear your bracelet always on the left hand, okay? Um, the left hand is the heart hand, and they say that the if you wear it on the left, it will actually uh, bring in some positivity, it will bring in some money and abundance. Now, if you give it, if you put it on the right, you will start giving money away. Like you'll be more generous for some reason and you'll just start giving and giving and giving and not as receiving as much as you would on the left hand. Now I put that to the test. I wanted to see for myself because I've always worn, worn the bracelet on my dominant hand. 
because that's what it said in the documentation. It says, please wear it on the dominant hand. So I've always worn my bracelet on the right hand because that's the hand that I write with. And so it always brought me money. I mean, we found money on the floor. I find money in pockets. I find money in, in, um, in a wallet. I have, um, I have gotten deposit that I didn't even know where, which company it came from. I've been getting a lot of money and it's just crazy how, my goodness, like there's just an abundance of wealth while I was wearing on the right hand. So I did a test and I wore it on the left one day just to see. I spent over $900 that day and I kid you not, I, I swear. I had um, truck issues, and then from there, uh, lawyer's payment, and then from there, I had another issue, and then there was another payment that went through, and I was just like, what is going on? I have never spent this much, so I was like, you know what? Left hand did not work for me, so I put it back on the right, and all of these stopped, and payments started coming in again in my account, like that. So I'm like, okay, so at least I put it for the test, and I saved you guys a bunch of money. <laughs> Do not put it on your left, no matter what they say online. I tried on the right and it works for me. Now you may wanna try it, you know, try on your left, try on your right, just see what happens. But I don't know if it's subconsciously, I thought on the left was giving money and I made it happen, or I've just always been lucky because that's the way that I've always worn it on my dominant hand. But it's there's a lot of conflicting um, answers on the internet. So it's kind of hard to know which hand will work for you, but I say, give it a try. But um, for me, it is not working. Left is not working, dominant is the way to go. All right, so that's one. Two, do not let anyone touch your bracelet. So if a friend of yours comes up to you and says, oh my God, it's so cute, the minute she touches it, the energy, it'll absorb her energy into this bracelet and it'll recognize her as the owner and it'll conflict with your honor ownership. So you need to, take, to remove the bracelet as soon as that happens and rinse it with water. I rinse it with cold water. Just purify it, let it dry, or just pat dry with the towel and put it back. Always, always, always. Um, just because you don't want their energy to come in and interfere with your energy, so really important. All right, that's two. Three, always have your dragon facing outwards. So now I have it, and um, to give you a trick, if you don't know what outward or inward is, your little pinky. Make sure that it's always facing your little pinky. So as you can see, my little dragon here is laying here, and he's facing my pinky. So it's facing outward, all right? Now, you don't have any issues when you have a double, uh, when you have two dragons facing each other, there's no good or right way. So sometimes that bracelet is just easier, so you don't have to be thinking about, oh, which way is it facing right now? Um, just because you want it to keep chasing the wealth and bringing it to you. If you're facing it this way, it's sucking your energy out and you don't want that to happen. You want it to be chasing and keep chasing and working for you. So the good way of wearing it is having it face that way all right so we did uh kind of cover another point which was not sleeping with it not putting it above your head not showering with it it doesn't like dirt make sure you remove it and when you do you could always leave it by the window looking by the door um now there's a way of purifying it when you do get it because obviously it's manufactured um you know it's made in a factor in a manufacturers of course and there's people employees touching it so when you do get it what i recommend is that you leave it out in the sun for a good two to three hours so that will purify its energy get rid of it, whoever was touching it and um, then you grab it and if you have a full moon i will leave it out all night let it purify the 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 full moon will help it just cleanse itself and it'll be ready for its new owner if you don't want to do that it's fine just rinsing it with water Holding it and putting it on is a good start, but if you really, really want to cleanse it and get a new start, whether because someone touched it or you just got your box in the mail and you opened it and you want to start fresh, you could do it that way. Do the sun and do the moon. I can't go wrong with that. Okay, so who should wear the bracelets? So I know as moms, we get all excited. Oh my God, it's working and I want it to work for my children. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I mean, you can buy it for people. There's no problem with that but you need to make sure that they are over 16 years of age. Unfortunately, children have energies that are kind of scattered. They don't know how to channel their energy yet, and this is very powerful, and it could backfire. Uh, unfortunately, it is said not to have anyone under the age of 16 wear this bracelet, or anyone over the age of 70. Uh, now, I've heard that a lot of 70-year-olds can channel energy, are all into yoga, and they're into control, and they're into, if they are in a good place in their life and they're matured about uh, you know, energy and whatnot, they are allowed, so that would be the exception, 
but I personally don't recommend it because people over 70 and, and children under 16 are not to be in the presence of the bracelet. So I made the mistake of buying one for my children because I got so excited for them to wear it because, hey, it's going to bring good luck. And I remember my daughter coming to me saying, it's not working. And my other daughter too, she's like, I wish it would work like it works for you, but it's not working. And I'm like, well, that's odd. So I did my research and I found out that anyone under the age of 16 should not be using it because it actually backfire and bring them bad luck as opposed to good luck. So I took those out, kept them right here. That's why I have them. <laughs> and I am going to give them away. Uh, I'm going to cleanse them, put them in a box. And uh, they come in such cute box. Oh my goodness. And sometimes they come as pairs. So this little guy here came with the one dragon and then they gave me the double the two dragons oh and something else never wear them together you guys and don't wear them with any other jewelry um it, it it'll work on its own and it lets out enough power so that it'll suck the energy from the outside and bring it into you now if you bring other metals with it or any kind of other jewelry it starts losing its power so make sure that you only have it by itself you know, and my other bracelet, I don't mix. Another thing, okay, this is the last thing. If ever you're wearing it and the bracelet breaks, okay, it is not that fragile, although it is an elastic that holds it together. I mean, it's, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty strong. I mean, I don't see it where I'm going to lose it unless someone is like pulling my hand or whatever. But if for whatever reason you're doing something and you find out that it is completely broken, that in itself is a good sign. Now, what it means is it was protecting you from something really, really bad. Um, and then all the, it needed all of its energy to shield you against evil. And by doing so, it broke because it took it with him and then it just shattered it somewhere else as opposed to you. So you wanna embrace the day that you break your bracelet because it says that it protected you that day. Um, so it's, it's actually a really good thing. Now they say to collect the bracelet, and I know it's gonna sound weird, but you need to bury it with respect just because, again, you have to give it respect. It was there for you and you need to bury it. So you need to dig in the dirt and put your bracelet, bury it, and you may purchase another one out of respect, but you are not to dispose of it and throw it in the garbage. I don't know if that will bring you bad luck. It is just, it is said to, again, worship the bracelet, just that, like it worships you. So with that said, I hope this was very informative. I know it's a lot of information. I've done a lot of research on it before speaking about this bracelet. Um, it's kind of like adopting a new baby. <laughs> Uh, now I'm excited to share this with my family. I can, uh, and if it does, like I said, what do you have to lose? If you're gonna have money that are gonna be coming in that you weren't expecting, and you're finding money, and you're, you're you're having a lot of people around you being generous and loving, it's because you're attracting that, and this has something to do with it. So peace, you and I. It says have a great day. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please. Please, please, please subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. Give me a thumbs up and um, and share this video. If you know someone that's interested in uh, purchasing one, let them know, hey, there's some rules to this bracelet. You can't just be buying it and, you know, kind of wearing it anywhere. And, and, you know, if you want it to work, just respect it and it will do amazing things for you. So love you guys. I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.